Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for March 12th to the 18th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darling. So what we're gonna talk about today is your day-to-day, -day, your love interest feelings, the block shillings and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump in. What's gonna happen my Aquarius's romantic love life for March 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck one. What's gonna happen my Aquarius's romantic love life for March 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, that's card deck two. What's gonna happen my Aquarius's romantic love life for March 12th to the 18th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that's card deck three. Let's move this aside for now, guys. And let's lay down your cards. All right, so, Aquarius, you can check your sun, moon, and rising sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these Aquarius make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. So this is also gonna be the blockage for this week. Okay, and this is the overall outcome here. Okay, first of all, let's look at the bottom of the deck here. I want the courage and strength and confidence because I have a sense that you're very attractive to me, okay? I want your attention. I'm trying to get your attention, but I'm lacking that confidence, courage, and strength to get your attention. I want a victory here. And you really shocked and surprised me here. You've taken me by surprise with the tower card energy. Your, your beauty, your attraction, your sexiness there. Um, I'm, just, I'm just sitting back and I admire you, okay? I'm trying to keep things secret here with the, the High Priestess card energy, but I know that there is something here, but I just need to make the best decision here, okay? So let's keep going here, Aquarius, and let's see what your blockage is this week. Mm. You're leaving someone out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles energy. Finances could be a factor here, but we're gonna have to see how this is gonna play out, okay? With the Five of Pentacles, there could be some big changes happening for you guys this week, okay? so. We have the King of Wands energy. So there is definitely someone who's very strongly attracted to you, strongly. Yeah, I feel like strongly is a word here for this situation. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of passion here. I feel like this person is somebody that you possibly could already be aware of, okay? Because the King energy is here. And we see Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We see there's a relationship. There is definitely chemistry here, strong chemistry here in this relationship, in this connection. If you guys aren't together, there's definitely a strong connection here because the Two of Cups is coming out, which represents a soulmate connection. And then we see there's some kind of burden, some kind of responsibilities here that is weighing heavy on this situation, on this relationship, on this connection. Mm -hmm. And it's like, there's still a want to like, I'm gonna take the burden for you, okay? I just, I wanna go forward and I wanna take this burden. You know, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm gonna go forward anyway. I wanna come into the future with you. Okay, so there's strong chemistry and passion in this connection in wanting to take the burden of responsibility. There's a lot of heavy burdens here with the 10 of wands energy. So be careful here on the 14th with these heavy burdens, okay? So let's see. We see a person card. Now the person card could be you, could be the love interest, right? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's some kind of confusion here, okay? And let's see what that's about. Because it's some kind of text message, letter, or document. So because there is some kind of confusions, there is a, there is a want to clear the air here, you're going to receive some kind of text message, letter, or document, or paperwork from them, okay? So let's keep going here. Mm -hmm. There's the letter card coming out. Again, reconfirming you're gonna get some kind of communication. Uh, because there's a want to get some kind of knowledge here about the situation. How? Oh, wow. It is going to be loving in nature. It's going to be love. You're going to have an awareness that there's love here. You're going to gain knowledge about love here through this text message, letter, or document. Because this person's like, yeah, you're weighing heavy on me. 
and I, I can't take it anymore. I need to reach out to you. Okay, so let's keep going here and let's look at what's gonna happen on the 15th here. Okay, so as a result of this text message letter or document, you're gonna come out of a space where, oh man, everything is not working out, to now the space of, yeah, I feel like things are going well. Now I have a sense that timing is right. The timing is right here. Okay. Yep. There are changes happening for you guys. Look at that. Big changes. Store card energy. Improvements happening in your romantic love life here because of this decision. Side card energy. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Look at that. The chariot. There's a victory here. Yeah, there's strong desires. And they're charging ahead towards you. Mm-hmm. My card talks about a little bit of stress, a little bit of anxiety there when it comes to this connection, this relationship, this soulmate connection here, okay? And let's keep going here. So far we see there's a letter, message, or document. You're going to gain some kind of knowledge. It could be being done in secret, but you're going to have an opportunity of true love because of this abrupt decision towards a relationship or cutting a relationship out to be with you, okay? Because it's saying it's cutting on away unhealthy attachments of the past when it comes to a relationship. Okay, so let's keep going. I want to fight for this connection, right? I want to fight for this connection. I want to defend my position. I have the higher ground here. That's going to happen on the 17th. Book card again. This is interesting. The book card represents secrets when it comes to secrets, when it comes to gaining knowledge, when it comes to intuition. Spiritual cards coming out because why are they defending their position? Because they're like, yo, you're my soulmate. There's something deeper here. I know it, I know it, I know it, I know. And uh, we see here going further, again, another spiritual card with a judgment card energy. We see that it looks like things can roll in your favor. There could be a reconciliation. There could be a healing happening here with the judgment card energy. Something stable coming in here because of the power move that's made. Okay, so your guys are gonna get communication this week and you're gonna gain knowledge about love. And there was an abrupt decision. This is a very sudden thing because there is a spiritual relationship because of a power move that someone is asserting themselves. Okay, let's keep going. There's a person that's been confused, so they're gonna send some kind of text message letter or document. There's improvements and big changes happening in romantic love with the store card energy. Then stress and anxiety was taken away because of gaining knowledge of something very stable, anchor card energy. Okay. I'm very attracted to you. I have a lot of chemistry and passion in this connection. And you know what? This has been weighing heavy on me, but now things are moving in our favor. This is the right time for us. Big changes are happening. There's strong desires here. I want to fight for this and I'm ready for a reconciliation. I'm ready for things to go in my favor. I feel like there could be a spiritual connection, a healing connection here. Judgment. Okay, Aquarius, let's take a look now at your love interest feelings. Okay, so we got the Queen of Pentacles energy. We got the Death card. And they got the four of wands. They're trying to be impatient. The death card is, is right after the queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles could be a motherly energy, okay, a nurturing, supportive energy. It could be the energy, I'm trying to be patient, I'm trying to get advice, I'm trying to figure out what's gonna happen in the long term, but I'm, I'm ready to take a break for that. I'm ready for that to change, because I'm ready for something stable here. We have a foundation built here. Clover card talks about, let's take a risk here. Even though the delays and challenges, I'm ready for a movement, an opportunity here with the writer card energy. I'm hopeful of a positive outcome, and I want a commitment here to bring things into balance. I'm gonna commit, commit this situation into bringing it to balance for a stable commitment here towards my desires, an opportunity towards my desires to make this choice, to be hopeful of this commitment. Some of you, they may be ending a marriage to be with you as well, okay? Okay, okay. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is about. We see a decision needs to be made. Okay. So there's an abrupt decision. We saw that, right? An abrupt decision that was made to leave a situation out in the cold or because of a sense of loss. So there was an abrupt decision made because of a sense of loss and there's concerns about, oh my God, am I going to be regretful about this? Okay. So now let's see. Let's see, Aquarius. Let's see what the overall outcome is to the situation. Okay. 
So we got the Queen of Cups energy, we have the King of Swords energy, and we have the Knight of Wands energy. I really want love and devotion. Now it could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Some of you may have more than one person involved in the situation. I really want love and devotion. I'm going to say all the right things to you, and I want to take passionate actions here. I, I took an abrupt action because of my passions towards you. I want to heal this situation and this commitment for a fresh start and new opportunity. I want an opportunity to be successful. I'm trying to be nurturing and supportive here. Are you single and available to pursue? I have romantic feelings for you, and you make me completely happy, and I'm ready to communicate that to you. So obviously, there was an abrupt decision made to communicate their feelings, okay? Fox card, are they being honest with me about this opportunity and their emotions? Okay. Mm -hmm. Communication about a relationship and I want to be patient. I want to invest time in it. Seven of Pentacles energy. My goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses. I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. There's the monthlies. There, there's about to be the mid-monthlies. We're getting close to it now. Um, so that's going to be up and available soon for you guys to watch. That includes love, career and finance, and health and wellness. Also, the next two weeks with, in, involves the singles, their true intentions, their true feelings, all up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.